Omo, how are you doing? I do hope you're having a wonderful day. So it's my third wedding anniversary. So if you've been following my page, you realize that by now, because I've been really making noise about it for the past few days. I am so grateful to God, really I am. My heart is full with gratitude and I can't seem to keep it to myself. So forgive me if I'm flooding your timeline, okay? Now, um, this whole process of the anniversary actually took me back memory lane, you know? I mean, in the midst of just giving God thanks, I feel led in my heart to share this with you. So I believe this is somewhat I'm gonna miss you. Okay, now, as a single girl, I wasn't the, I was not get my own kind of girl. I wasn't that girl. I wasn't the girl who was already planning her wedding at 20 or 18. That was in me. I had other things in my mind, you know. And I just felt, well, I'm just, um, I'm cool like that, you know, that feeling. However, the older I got and the more conscious I got of the presence of God, the more I learned about God's word, I started to realize that I wasn't just being cool. I actually was very scared. Yes. I suddenly realized that I had fears in my subconscious mind that I did not know about. I was scared of getting married. I was very scared. And why was I scared? I was scared because I had seen people who were so in love for getting married, suddenly are married and now are like enemies, are so much into hate. I had seen people who got married in my dad's at their weddings and their shoy bees were still new in my wardrobe. Suddenly the marriages were over. I had seen people who were happy girls, you know, lovely happy girls before getting married. Now they're married, they're like a shadow of who they were because the marriage is literally taking away their joy. I had seen wives pour hot across soup. Now I'm like, this is not a joke. On their husbands, like the, 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 balcony, the lady was on the balcony, the man was standing downstairs, they just, they just had a quarrel. The woman literally poured the hot upper soup on the husband, and the husband pulled off the shirt and carried the shirt and was showing me, and that literally stuck with me. So I was like, is this what marriage is? You know, I was, I was, I was afraid. That's the word. I mean, I let, I, I'm not going to put it up here. I was very afraid because here I was seeing these whole things. Seeing men violate their wives, seeing men abuse their husbands, seeing men literally beat their wives and send them to the hospital. This is what I was seeing and reading on social media. But then on the other hand, here I, I was believing that God would not create an institution that was primarily going to make people sad and unhappy. So how was I going to marry these two things? How was I going to marry the reality I was seeing and the reality of what God's word says? That God doesn't create negative things. That God loves us and his thought towards us, us are good and not of evil. How are these things going to marry? I was very confused. And when I got engaged to my husband and we didn't get married, that confusion was literally taking over my mind. I was so scared of everything and I was, I was literally losing my joy. Of course, when I'm afraid, what do I do? I run to God. So I run to God. I'm like, Lord, you have to settle me because I don't understand what's happening. I can't handle this by myself. I'm losing my mind. Thank God, um, I was wrapping up my school of ministry and we're having the last class. You know, and the last class was about the marriage covenant. And as I sat in that class with my eyes red after praying and just trusting God for a word, God decided to speak to me. And in that class, God took me through a journey, started to take me through a journey, you know. And that journey ended up with God giving me certain marital secrets that have made this last few years simply a blessing, you know. These secrets, they have worked for me. Like, they are like, <laughs> you know how you call mathematical formula? That's the way I took the secret. They have been mathematical formulas for me and they have blessed me. I know there might be someone out there, a single girl, who is as scared as I was, who is seeing all the stories on social media, seeing all the horror movies being acted all over the world, who has neighbors who are not allowing her sleep, who grew up with parents who were violent and all of that, who has seen marriage in all the negative lights and is now very scared. Well, today's word is for you. Or there are people who are living hell on earth marriages. The kind of marriage I was very afraid of today is also for you. By the grace of God, from tomorrow, I will be sharing the secrets God gave to me with you. I'm going to begin tomorrow. There are five of them. And for five days, God willing, I will be sharing the secrets with you. So, I want to encourage you to stay tuned to this page. Turn on your notification on my pages. 
Now, if you know someone who needs to see this, please share so the person can see and also turn in their notification. By tomorrow, we are going to begin this journey. And I was praying for this, actually. As I was praying, the Holy Ghost started to tell me something. And he said, trust the way in the book of Exodus when um, the children of Israel needed water. But the water they found was bitter. And then they threw in a stick into the water. The water became sweet. And God said that as people receive these secrets, as they begin to activate it in their lives, as they begin to, to do it, as they believe it, God says that bitter marriages are going to become sweet in the name of Jesus. And I believe it with the whole of my heart because I know the word of God works. So tomorrow, 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 we'll begin the series tomorrow. I really don't know what to name this series. I'm thinking I'm just going to name it um, Secrets God Taught Me About a Good Marriage, okay? You can name it whatever you want to name it, but that's just what I'm going to call it. So the series begins tomorrow. Please, let's keep it a date, okay? Maybe at the end of the whole series, we might just do a live from um, Facebook and Instagram live, you know, where we just basically have a heart to heart with each other. That, if, if that, we might do that. Let's see how it goes, okay? All right, I'm Alma. Thanks for listening to me. God bless you. I love you. I remember Jesus loves you. Bye.